I'm not good enough. There's a lot of videos that will be released on YouTube today much better than this one. Not only will the content be better, but the thumbnail and the title of the video will be better. And when people come to watch that video, they'll find a host who is more engaging, with better personality and a nicer sounding voice. And the quality of the shots will be better, the lighting will be better, the sound will be better, and the editing will be way better than this one. Trust me on that one. And talking about that host, if they're making videos about music production, they'll probably have way more knowledge than I do about that subject. They'll know how to manipulate sound in ways that I've still yet to learn about and they'll have the accolades to prove how qualified they are to talk about this subject matter. Grammys and all kinds of different awards that I definitely don't have. But enough about me, what about you? So if the phrase, I'm not good enough, has ever entered into your head, and I trust it has unless you're completely narcissistic, maybe it's because you feel that you're not a good enough singer or maybe your guitar playing isn't good enough in terms of technique or your drumming or your piano playing. Fill it in the blank. Or maybe you're really good at writing melodies but absolutely trash at writing lyrics. Perhaps you've now entered into the world of music production and although people keep talking about compression and saturation, you don't feel you can quite hear what they're talking about. And if that's the case, what hope is there for you as a music producer when it seems everyone else just gets it? There's lots of reasons to believe you are not good enough. The only question is, by what measurement? Okay, let's think about this. How well could we measure, for example, how good a vocalist you are? I guess we'd start off with something like pitch, we can measure that, and range, we can measure your lowest note and your highest note. And how well do you transition into falsetto? And how much control do you have over things like vibrato? These are all things that we could kind of measure and assess how good a vocalist you are. But I think we all know there's a little bit more to it than that. I mean, how well do you move people emotionally with your vocals? Can you make them cry? Can you make them laugh? Well, maybe we can measure that in terms of a kind of a popularity. I mean, how many people actually turn up at your concerts or how many people stream your songs on Spotify? How many people like your video of your latest performance? That would tend to indicate that you connect with people well if you've got higher numbers. So if we take all of that into account and we're able to measure a vocalist by all of these sort of statistics, then tell me this, how come some people still absolutely can't stand Celine Dion? Sorry Celine, just an example. Okay, so this segment of the video is probably one of the most difficult things that I think I've ever had to film for a YouTube video, for me at least anyway, and I've really thought about whether I should even go here or not. Uh, basically the reason why it's difficult is because I come from a culture where it's considered to be really bad form to praise yourself or pat yourself on the back, especially in public, and that's what I'm about to do just for a moment. You see, I have actually received some emails from people who watch this channel and they've told me that in some way watching my videos has changed their life for the better. Maybe emotionally or maybe they've written to tell me that they're just releasing their first EP or album and they feel that if they hadn't watched my videos they wouldn't have been able to do that. Some people have written me messages to say that for the first time they've understood a particular concept about music production that they hadn't understood previously despite watching all of those other channels. That I said it in a way that they could finally understand and that they were so grateful. So for some people, in some moments, by their measurement, I'm just right. But enough about me. 
Let's bring it back to you again. Yes, I'm talking about you. You watching this video right now. If you don't listen to anything else I've got to say today, listen to this. The universe needs you. And it needs you to be you. Why? Because somebody out there needs to hear that guitar being played in just the way you play it. They need to hear that vocal being sung in just the way you deliver it and that lyric being written in just the way that you write lyrics. If you don't honour yourself and you get busy trying to be somebody else, then there's a gap in the universe that isn't being fulfilled. You're the only person who can fulfil that. And when that person hears you, you will be absolutely perfect for them. By their measuring stick, you'll be amazing. Now, if you go out there trying to sort of impress people using all of the different measuring sticks out of there, a lot of the time you're going to fall short and not feel so good about yourself. But there is some use in thinking you're not quite good enough. If I was going to give this section of the video a title, it would be taste, but don't swallow. Look, I don't necessarily think that these thoughts of oh, I'm not good enough, even on a semi-regular basis, are all that harmful. After all, you may find that they propel you into action with some more practice on your chosen instrument. Or they may encourage you to research techniques in music production a little bit more and employ them in your next recording. I don't think you need to book in with your therapist quite yet if that's the case and these thoughts are getting you to improve in some way or other. However, that's why I say taste but don't swallow. If you find that you really internalise these kinds of thoughts into a kind of a belief that you at your core are not good enough and you never will be, I don't see that as a being very useful to you in any way whatsoever. You're probably less likely to practice your instrument a little bit more or research those techniques because you'll just think, what's the point? I'm just not good enough. In fact, if I may say this, if you do find yourself having those kinds of thoughts and you really feel you've internalised this belief system about yourself, it may be worth reaching out for professional help. I know I have, I do and I will in the future if needs be. It really can be helpful and get you back on the right track again. <laughs> Look, maybe you're sick of YouTubers trying to be gurus and trying to tell you how to live your life. Maybe you'd much prefer I got back to free plugins and how to use compressors. Or maybe you're that one person who needed to hear this today. If that's the case, then I've done my job. Thanks for watching today. I'm Mike and I hope you're well.